in my last video, I said January was nothing but bangers. Well, I think I spoke too soon. Welcome back to the only place that has real reviews for movies that you want to see. I'm Timbo, and today we're talking about the movie Infinity Pool. Infinity Pool follows writer James and his wealthy partner, M as they travel uh, to a fictional island uh, where he can try to get some needed inspiration for his second novel. However, this all becomes halted as they meet another couple on the, on the island, Gabby and Albin. Gabby, played by Mia Goth, persuades James and M to come with them off from the compound to venture out on the island on a little excursion. And the way she does it is through seductive means as well as uh, claiming to be a lover of James's first novel. This day of fun for the couple soon becomes a nightmare as James is given the keys and told to drive back to the compound where he ends up hitting a traveler on the side of the road, killing him, and then being told to just leave because this island uh, is not kind uh, to those that cause any harm or felonies and they just evacuate the premise this tragic event ends up becoming the main plot of the film uh, and leads us into the themes of what this movie is about now before i get into the complaints about this movie i really do want to talk about some positives brandon cronenberg delivered a truly haunting experience that had a lot of very disturbing visuals uh that kind of made me feel like i was in someone's fever dream. Infinity Pool also has some really great camera work. And again, Mia Goth is just perfect for these types of roles. Kind of gives off the energy that only someone I could find outside of like a gas station at 2 a.m. could deliver. Now that I've said what <laughs> small positives I had for this movie, I want to get into what I really feel about this movie. What this movie did for me was realize that there is a limit to how artsy and elevated you can make a horror movie. I am a big fan of movies like Midsummer and The Lighthouse. They provide the same type of artistic style of horror, but also provide relatable characters through these stories. Infinity Pool has no relatable characters. Every character seems very one-dimensional, selfish, and just willing to pay any type of money to get away with any type of thing that goes on in the movie. This theme of money buys becomes very stale very early on in the movie. By the end, I was just tired of it. Then on top of a stale theme, we also have these long, drawn-out scenes of sex, drugs, and rave-inducing headaches. And this happens in the movie like three times for like five minutes each. It felt like if Brandon Cronenberg was writing an assignment for a, a college class and he did what I would do and add filler words to meet a certain word count. But instead of filler words, it was nudity, grotesque imagery, and rave lights. Speaking of weird things to put on a camera and nudity, when did it become popular to add naked old men into these horror movies? Not to go into too much detail, but you clearly see his junk. And as I continue to look at it, I really don't understand the composition of it all and almost scares me more than what this movie tried to do. By the end of this film, I was just worn out by what it was trying to tell me. And honestly, I've seen other pieces of media within recent memory that explain it tried to tell the same story, but better white Lotus is a perfect example of rich people doing crazy shit and just getting away with it. But the way it does it, it still provides relatable characters through these situations. And you can almost empathize with some of the characters that are in play. I really think infinity pool really lacked on building relatable characters or even likable characters. And instead focus too much on shock and awe. Do I think that there's a demographic for this type of movie? Yes, I do. I think it's either rich people who fantasize about this lifestyle and film snobs. And Cronenberg clearly had a vision and he's very creative. However, I would have rather been maybe drunk watching this movie, but it's just not it. What are your thoughts on Infinity Pool? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you feel the way I feel about it? Let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to check out my last movie review. I'll put it right here. Uh, it's missing. A crime mystery through the lens of a MacBook. And if you haven't yet, you need to subscribe because 
I need you. As always, I'm Timbo, and I just talked about that. Peace.